Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a plan with me for the week of September 16th through the 22nd, which is also the week of the planned Area 51 raid, which didn't end up happening in hindsight, but in honor of the funny pop culture moment, I decided to use the kit called Conspiracy with the matching foil overlays. It is an alien and true crime kind of hybrid kit. It is exclusive art and it is absolutely so cute. And this is just the perfect opportunity to use it since there was something going on in pop culture that had reference to this. So I just thought it was going to be a really cute kit to use for this week. I will run through the kit and show you what came with it. These are the full boxes with the matching foil overlay, which it's so cute because it has like little planets and stuff in hollow. And then you get your check boxes, your alternative boxes, functional, mini deco and scripts, icons and littles, headers and washi, bottom washi, glitter washi, and date covers. And the bottom washi also has a matching hollow overlay with little planets just gives a little extra something something. The Lux also came with the Fashion Girls. I am going to be using the blonde one, the glitter headers. I did add on the label add-on, and these are the little extra boxes, which are Area 51 specific, instead of just like aliens or true crime more general. So those are the items I'm going to be using for this spread. I also have this picture of my baby. He is wearing a skeleton costume. Well, it's like a PJ set, but it's Halloween themed, and it's a skeleton, and I just thought that, that worked really well for this spread like not in a morbid way just in like a, it was a cute picture of him and the colors work I also have my scripts in black and hollow so with that we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna do this just like we've been doing it the past few weeks and we're gonna do the base with voiceover and then I'm gonna come back to live talking mode for the day-to-day -day. the questions for this plan with me just like the last one are mostly centered around my new house because I did just announce that I purchased a new house right before sitting down to film this voiceover. So the first question is how many beds, baths is your new house and is Blair going to have her own room? Our new house is five bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms and Blair is going to have a bedroom but it's going to also be the guest room. So as of right now the way we are kind of like going to have the bedrooms is we're going to have our bedroom James is gonna have a bedroom. There's gonna be one bedroom that is the guest room slash Blair's room. And then the remaining two bedrooms are gonna be his and her offices for now. So mine will be where I film my videos, where I have all of my like craft stuff. And then Alex's is going to be where he does all of his music stuff and mixing. If you are unfamiliar, my husband is a musician and he mostly right now mixes music for people and produces music for himself and for other people. So he is gonna have his own designation designated office space as well. When we have another kid and we need one of those bedrooms to free up, my bedroom is going to be, like my office bedroom is gonna be the one that frees up because I am able to work in other areas of the house as well. There are a couple of areas downstairs that could work as filming areas that just isn't quite as convenient as having it in that last bedroom. So for now, while we have the flexibility for me to use that room, I'm going to, but that will be the first room that gets turned into the next kid's room. And then the guest room will stay, James's room will stay, and Alex's office will stay. The next question is what is your favorite holiday tradition? And this one's pretty easy. It is on Christmas Eve, my family always opens a Christmas Eve box which normally has matching pajamas for all of us and sometimes it will have like a movie that we can watch that night and some snacks and stuff. We all put on our matching pajamas and we normally have our big traditional Christmas meal on Christmas Eve and then we eat leftovers on Christmas Day. So we have like the big meal that evening. We normally have it a little bit early and then we all watch a movie and we're all in our matching PJs. And as kids, we were always able to open up one additional gift. And it was normally something that we could enjoy that night. So either a game or something that we would appreciate that night. I remember one year it was like this bath toy that I really wanted and it, I used it that night on Christmas Eve in the bath. So just things like that. That is definitely a tradition that I'm really excited to bring up with my own kids. Just having that really fun Christmas Eve night where the excitement is so real when you're a little kid and when you're older, but especially when you're a little kid, there is nothing like Christmas magic and enjoying it on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day instead of all of the fun stuff being on Christmas Day. 
The next question is rank Harry Potter books from favorite to least favorite. My favorite one is the first one and then the fourth one, which was the Triwizard Tournament. Then I like number five, which was Order of the Phoenix. Next would be six, which is Half-Blood Prince. And then I would say two and three are kind of tied and then seven is my least favorite. I just found seven to be really dark. Also didn't love that it wasn't set at Hogwarts for like the, you know, a whole school year because that was always my favorite aspect of the book. Book seven is definitely my least favorite. All right, we're back to live talking mode for the day-to-day -day section of this spread. So we're going to start with my sidebar, and I just have this one little half box on my sidebar and I'm going to do six weeks until Halloween and I'm going to use my hollow foil countdown stickers for this. So I'm just gonna put that right in this box. And then moving on to Monday, oh my gosh, look at that hollow foil overlay like on this in the light. Oh, it looks so good, oh my gosh. Okay, moving on to Monday. On this day, what did I, what did I do at the end of this past week? Okay, so it was dad's birthday weekend on this section. So we like went out to dinner. We had a bunch of family time. We had a birthday cake several times, several brunches, and we went to Dixie Stampede in Pigeon Forge. So it was kind of a busy weekend. So come Monday, the first thing that I have to write down is that I woke up bright and early and prepped my morning coffee because I knew that I was going to have a lot of work to do this day, especially because I had not worked at all over the um, over the weekends because we normally, I don't work a ton on the weekends, but I do have either on Saturday or Sunday, normally I will have an afternoon where I do do some design work or just kind of like catch up a little bit on the following week, but I didn't at all this weekend. So I'm gonna put morning coffee and then this character sticker is so, so perfect for this. It is like a hand coming out of a grave holding a coffee cup. It's from Fox and Cactus and it says RIP. This is just so perfect for this time of year. Like, oh, and the colors are perfect because it's like green and purple and the spread is green and purple. Things like that, you guys, things like that just make my life. And then I'm going to do one of these patterned half boxes and the purple fancy label. And then I'm going to take a hollow bougie box and I'm going to cut it in half. I think she needs to sell half box bougie boxes. That needs to be a thing because I love all the different sizes but this is definitely a size that I would use a lot. So I'm just gonna put this down right here and I'm gonna do a rounded half box over top of it. And my phone is ringing, but it's a spam call, so I'm just gonna ignore it. And I'm gonna put that I designed all day because you guys, on this day, I just worked. And when I have design days like this, I normally will just get on my computer, I'll put like a podcast on or I'll watch a show, but like I'll just basically listen to it. And I'm super, super focused in on my computer and I spend the entire day working usually. And then in the evening hours, I did a bunch of just like catch up chores, I guess. So the first thing that I do have here is that I ordered a bunch of supplies. We were out of cellos and we were also out of um, a certain size of rigid mailers and we were low on ink. We're pretty much always low on ink. So I bought a ton of supplies and then I'm going to put a laundry time and grocery shop we normally do our grocery shopping either on the weekend or on Mondays because it's just nice to kind of get like a nice start for the week, you know? So I'm gonna put those down and then I'm also going to put, let's do a quarter box for this spot. We'll do this medium green and I'm actually gonna put a half cut header down here. I'm just gonna frame this with half cut headers. And we're just gonna put clean stuff because this was like one day a week. You guys probably see the pattern now that I've been doing plan with me so consistently, but one day a week I tend to do all of my like cleaning and my kind of household chore type things, my laundry. I mean, I do laundry throughout the week sometimes too, but I kind of have days or evenings usually where I do all of it at once. So I'm gonna put laundry time 
And then I'm gonna put grocery shop. I went with Alex. And I'm going to put the grocery sticker that comes on my decor, that comes on my deco sheet. I love this thing. And then in hollow, I'm going to put clean stuff. And this is just like my floors, my bathroom, my sheets, you know, all that stuff that needs to be done. Like I've said in previous spreads, we are living at my parents' house currently. That will be ending in the next couple of weeks because we are moving. We do have our house now. As of filming this, we have closed on our house, which is amazing. I am still a few weeks behind in this planner, but uh, we will be moving in soon. And then I will have an entire house to keep clean instead of just like two bedrooms and a bathroom, which is pretty much what my like portion of keeping clean in this house is other than like contributing to the house. But you know what I mean? Like cleaning days will probably be a little more intense when I have a whole house to do. So, but I'm actually like not, not looking forward to that, if that makes sense. Like I'm kind of still weirdly looking forward to that. So um, the next thing I'm going to put, I'm gonna use a couple of the stickers off of um, my label add-on for this because I'm already repeating like I just used the same exact one down here so now I'm using the one off the label add-on and I'm gonna do a patterned half box and I'm going to do this right in the middle but I'm gonna do two of the half cut headers in between and you guys I'm about to use up this sheet of half cut headers I have more don't worry but it feels like is it just me or does it feel really good when you use up a sheet of stickers? It's like hitting pan on makeup. Like it just makes you feel like you've like accomplished something and like not wasted your money. I don't know. I don't know why it feels good, but it does. Put this right in the middle. And so here I'm going to put that I did the Facebook sneak peeks for the new kits that were released that I had mostly designed on this day. And I was super excited about it. I don't remember exactly what kits actually released this week. I need to catch up on my plan with me's so that I can like remember exactly what happened on these days instead of being so far behind. And then, you know what I might have done is I might have only sneak peeked like one kit because then I have that I did more designing, which makes sense because it takes me about a day per kit and I do three a week. And I'm using this Fox and Cactus like spooky girl on her computer. I just think this is like so perfect. Look how cute that is. So just goes with these like Halloween kits so well. I love it so much. And then I'm going to put that we went errand running. I can't even remember what we did on this day. Like what did we do on this day? Why can't I remember? I don't know. I don't know what errands we did, but we went to the store the day before. So it might've been like Target for baby stuff. Who knows, maybe the post office? I don't even remember. I'm not even gonna try to guess. So moving on to Wednesday, I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna do the other one of this half bougie box that I had and I'm gonna put it down here and then I'm gonna do a half cut header or maybe two up at the top and that's it for this sheet of half cut headers. Woo, you guys, I hit pan on my half cut headers. Are you proud of me? because I'm proud of me. This is so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna put another of my patterned half boxes and I'm gonna put that I pulled 300 orders on this day, which is like a ton of orders. And then I'm going to do a rounded half box and I'm gonna put that I prepped the new releases, which went up on Thursday. And actually like I should not have put that so far down. I should have put one of the half cut headers on this side and put it in the middle. You guys, planning, it like, it's never perfect, okay? There's always things that I put down, even though my spreads are like kind of getting a little bit easier to do now that I've done so many in this style. The first couple times I did it in the script style, it was just like very overwhelming. But even now that I've done like several months of this style, I still have times where I'm like, I should have known to put one of those half headers in the middle, but whatever. So I prepped the new releases and then in the evening I did something that I don't do very often but I would say maybe twice a year I do this and I went on a little bit of a shopping spree for clothes and I hardly ever do this. I mean you'll, if you watch my plan with me, it's like this is the first time since switching to this planner that I've done this. 
So I ended up, I'm just going to use these like littles for this because there's a lot of stores I want to write down. So I ended up placing quite a few orders online and I don't know, I just kind of was feeling some like new fall things and I just wanted some new things. I've been living out of like basically a large bin of stuff all summer because I haven't unpacked like my whole closet. I've just been waiting to move to the new house and I just wanted some new fall things and I just treated myself. I Like I said, I don't do it very often, but when I do, I tend to go a little bit ham and get like a lot of things at once. So that is what ended up happening. And I'm doing a half cut header here from a brand new page. And then I'm going to do a purple appointment label with the purple message icon and put that here for customer service because I did that this evening. And I cleared the cash and it was wonderful. Okay, so going back up to this, the first store that I ordered from is called Everlane and it is a clothing store that sells ethical clothing and they have like really really nice basic pieces and I've been wanting to try stuff from them for a long time so I finally just ordered something and I ordered this there's a few things that I wanted to try but I, I only ordered one shirt from there and it was like this black v-neck but it was like a nicer v-neck and I wore it out on a date night that's gonna be coming up in a vlog that you guys are gonna see soon but anyway ordered that and then the next place I ordered from was Express and you know what this Erin running character was supposed to be this like shopping girl was supposed to be here and for this I don't remember maybe I'll just do another shopping girl cuz that works for both of those and I have more right here, so I'll use another one of those. And then the third store that I ordered from was Carter's. I got James a bunch of stuff, and they were doing a deal where they were doing their like Carter's bucks or whatever, where you spend money and then you get like gift cards back. And I ended up getting $50 worth of credit to use on my next order, which was awesome. And I got him such cute stuff, like all of his like fall things. He needed a new pair of shoes. I got him some like long sleeve PJs that fit him for the colder months, although it hasn't gotten colder yet. And I got him a bunch of fall clothes. And then the last store that I ordered from was Nordstrom. And that was the store that I placed the biggest order from because I love me some Nordstrom. And I find that their return policy is amazing. They pretty much let you return anything. And I just think they're really reasonable. So... I ordered a ton of stuff from Nordstrom. I also ordered from a couple other places that didn't even fit here, so I didn't even put them in, but I ordered a couple of tops from Pink Blush, which is actually a maternity store, but they also have non-maternity items, and I like started wearing their stuff when I was pregnant, and then I think some of their stuff is really cute, and so I got some of their like non-maternity items. I got a couple items from them, and then I can't remember what the last place was. Oh, I ordered a couple of bras from Soma and a new pair of pajamas. So yeah, I, I did go a little bit ham on the shopping on this evening. Um, but I just, yeah, every now and then I treat myself. I don't tend to buy clothes like at all sprinkled throughout. I do it kind of all in one bulk shopping. So that was the first half of this week. Moving on to Thursday. The first thing that I'm going to put is that the September subscription shipped on this day. And then I'm going to put, I'll do a half box and I want to do the purple one. I need a pop of purple in here. And I'm going to put that 500 plus packages went to the post. And then I'm going to do a squared off quarter box down at the bottom. And I'm going to put the my new releases one up. So put half cut headers in between. You guys, I'm still, it's been like, it's actually, it was this week that I ended up coming down with a sickness. And I'm still having symptoms. Like I still have a runny nose. I'm still nasally. I'm still congested. It's just like, how am I still having cold symptoms? Do I need, okay, black script. So I will put that to the September sub shipped and then I'm going to put that 500 plus orders went to the post which was really exciting 
And next to this script, I'm gonna use one of the deco stickers. I'm gonna use this coffee cup because obviously it was a lot of coffee day to have that many packages go. So moving on to Friday. Friday was the day of the supposed Area 51 raid. The whole reason that this uh, spread was cute for this week is because this is the week that the Area 51 raid was supposed to happen. And this was the day that it was supposed to happen. And it didn't end up happening, which, I mean, thank goodness, because people would have ended up getting shot. It just was, like, going to be really bad. The government was, like, not kidding around with it. Like, their response was kind of chilling. They were basically like, we will meet you with deadly force, which is a bit terrifying. So I'm glad no one got hurt. But the first thing that I'm going to put in the morning is that it was the day of the Area 51 raid. Just to, you know, remember, like, the funny pop culture moment that it was. And I'm just going to put some of the deco stickers next to it. I think I'm going to do the UFO book and the top secret file and just kind of, like, layer them a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. And then under that, I'm going to put that I woke up super sick. So this was the day that me and James and Alex all woke up. We all woke up with like a really, really bad cold. This is a wonton in a million character sticker, a sick one, and it's really cute. I picked it for the colors. And I don't think it was the flu because we... Well, first of all, I've had the flu and it was not as bad as the flu. And also James has had the flu because he got the flu when he was six months old and he wasn't acting as sick as he was then, but he still had a fever and he was still like very uncomfortable seeming. So we spent the entire day just being like super sick and miserable all as a family. I am going to put on the bottom here, I'm just going to use two of, I'm going to use both of these like three heart checklist and... I will put a half cut header in the middle and I'm going to put our symptoms, which like this is kind of stupid to put in my memory spread, but like, I don't know if I ever want to look back on like when James was sick last or whatever, if I ever need to know for any reason, we had runny noses, sore throats and fevers on this day. So yay, how fun. And then I'm going to put that we had Theraflu, chicken soup and Gatorade. Obviously James did not have Theraflu. And he didn't have Gatorade, but he did have chicken soup and we gave him Pedialyte and then we had Gatorade and we took Theraflu and we gave him baby Tylenol and that helped break his fever. It was all okay. We didn't take him into the doctor because my dad is a doctor and he was keeping an eye on him. But had we been in Nashville or in California where we weren't in the same house as my dad, we absolutely would have taken him into the doctor. He was definitely sick. And when he had the flu, we were not playing around. We were at the doctor. The first morning he woke up and I was changing his diaper and he just felt really warm to me and I had him at the doctor in within like 20 minutes. So we do not mess around with that, but we did not have, we did not end up going to the doctor on this day. So next that brings us to Saturday and yeah, Friday we didn't do anything the rest of the day. That was the day that I was actually texting or I Instagrammed pictures of like, all the Gatorade and all the medicines that we had picked up because we were just like, we were so sick and miserable. And I mean, it was a pretty bad cold because I'm still having symptoms weeks later. Like I'm still having um, a runny nose and like a little bit of a cough and some chest congestion, but I definitely feel better. So the first thing I'm gonna put for Saturday is that James turned 15 months old. Oh my gosh, he's getting so big, you guys. It makes me sad, but it also makes me happy. Like I want him to grow and be big and be like an independent, strong guy. But I also just, it makes me like so sad because he's my baby, but he is still very, very much my baby. Like he's still, you know, he's only 15 months old. He's not that old. So I'm putting James turns 15 months old. And then I'm going to put that we were still sick because on this day, we, I think we were even worse on this day. James was definitely worse on this day. This was his worst day, I'm pretty sure. This one and this one. These two were his worst days, and then he started getting a little bit better. So I'm going to put a Teeny and Bop sick sticker with still sick as the script. And then in the evening after...
after James went down for bed because he went down really, really early as little sick babies do. I ended up having some what I call peaceful planner time, which is basically just when I have planner time, but I don't film it. And I ended up um, doing this spread that day. So two spreads back. And I showed this a little bit more in detail during this plan with me, during my cider lane plan with me. If you missed that one and you want to see more details on pumpkin spice, which was this week, you can watch that video. But I did pumpkin spice on this peaceful planning evening here. And then I'm going to put that. I did some more customer service on this evening. So I'm going to use a purple quarter box for that. And then I'm going to do another half cut header. And then I'm going to do, I think, another quarter box. Yeah, I'll do this light green one to put that I went to bed super early. Because again, as you do when you're sick, you have to get all the sleep. And I took Theraflu that night and it was like so nice. Theraflu, okay. So before this time getting sick, I had only ever had the nighttime Theraflu that has the sleep stuff in it. And I mean, that is like the best stuff ever. That, that stuff is so good when you're sick. Um, but Alex went to the store and he got the daytime one, which like doesn't have the sleep stuff in it, which I was kind of bummed about because I definitely could have used the sleep stuff. But I ended up loving the taste of it. Like it was the most wonderful, delicious lemon honey tea. It was so good. It was something that I would literally drink like when I'm not sick every morning. I loved it so much. Every time it was time for me to have another one, I was just like, this is the best stuff. And I can't, I feel like the one with the nighttime stuff is not any good. Like I have really bad memories of what that one tastes like. So, but I just like it cause it like helps you sleep. And when you're sick, you definitely need that. But yeah, this one, the one without the sleep that's just like the honey and lemon, it was really delicious. I was just like living my best life, drinking that tea. So I put the wonton in a million. I love this paper rub rub for the peaceful planner time. And then a once more with love, like sick or sleepy for bed early. So that was Saturday. And then Sunday, we are finishing up this spread. I'm going to do a squared off half box. I'm going to do a purple quarter box. I'll do a green fancy label. And I guess that is everything that I have room for. So on Sunday, this night between Saturday and Sunday, and then Sunday during the day was James's worst part of his sickness. And then he started feeling a little bit better on Monday. But um, we had a really, really rough night. So he was pretty much up all night long on this night, Saturday night, like crying. He couldn't breathe when he was laying down. So I was trying to hold him like upright against my chest. But like I was also sick and Alex was sick. It was just so miserable, you guys. And my dad ended up, my mom and dad ended up coming up stairs and like taking over for a couple of hours, which was so nice and like, you guys, when James had the flu when he was six months old, Alex was traveling and I was by myself with him and he was only six months old, which is so young to be getting the flu. And I was so scared and it was just me. I mean, I did not sleep. Luckily, I wasn't sick during it, but I did not sleep at all. I just held him and took care of him. And I was doing that again, but it was really nice that I was able to um, let my mom and dad take over for a couple of hours so that I could get a little bit of sleep. Um, but obviously like I am not saying that I wouldn't have like gone without sleep for my baby if I hadn't had that available to me because I absolutely would have stayed up all night taking care of him and it wouldn't have mattered that I didn't get sleep but I'm just saying it was really nice that I was that they were able to help out and then I put sneezing like monstro monstro's the whale in Pinocchio and I was having these massive, huge sneezes and I felt like Monster the Whale when he gets the smoke all up in his belly and he sneezes the boat out. And then I just put Snuggle James. I literally snuggled him all day. We did not do anything on this whole weekend. Like, well, I did a little bit of planning this day, but like we pretty much just snuggled and tried to feel better and like drank Theraflu around the clock and Gatorade and chicken soup and he had Pedialyte and 
I think Pedialyte's what it's called, right? It's not Pediasure. It's like the stuff that's kind of like Gatorade, but it's for babies to like hydrate them when they're sick. Our doctor had him give him, had us give him that when he was six months old and had the flu too to like help hydrate him. Anyway, I am talking a ton. So this is the finished conspiracy spread. And as always, I love the way it turned out. At the end of all of these spreads, I'm always like, this is so cute. I just love it, you guys. Like, can I just do like a quick flip through? Because it's just like, this has been so fun this year. Like, oh, love it. I haven't been doing the monthlies like at all. Um, and I can't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I did do, I started to do October just for fun because I like wanted to put stickers down. I didn't do this on camera or anything. I just like felt like placing stickers. And so I decided to do this one since I've been trying to do as many plan with me's as possible. But, um, yeah, I might go back and like kind of do them. I, I guess this whole planner is a memory spread, so it doesn't matter if I like back plan the month at a glance. I will give you a close up of what it looks like. The hollow foil is so pretty. I also love this picture of James on this side. So that was the conspiracy spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.